Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. <laughs> These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian equinox, the Solana galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark... <laughs> was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Guess reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of episode one. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. just picked up an officially licensed Quark token. Collect all the tokens in the level to earn a secret prize. Bling bling, baby! The red ones are worth 10 Quark tokens. Say a giant robotic space eel haunts this ship. What a bunch of hoot. Press circle to fire my blaster. Hold down R1 and move the left analog stick for precision aiming.
Juicy health upgrade. Remember, cadets, there's one in every level. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. Pirate, ghost, robots. I mean, what do they think? We're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund, a charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. <laughs> Mr. President? Uh, yes, I got the fruit basket. Thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. <laughs> yeah, who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, <coughs> right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. That handsome devil. It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Horse. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean, contestant, Fred! Fred is a gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a morpho ray go off in his pants. What a chair. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! Another day, another death course. <laughs> 